I've literally had the most stressful 46 hours of my fucking life, man. I'm fucking tired, bro. I'm tired. I usually don't make videos like these, but, uh, you know, here we, here we are. I feel like my mic's fucked up. But yeah, the last couple of hours have been fucking rough, man. I'm, uh, I'm... <laughs> I feel like I'm on my last legs and I, I don't know how to like emotionally comprehend like what in the f actually happened And the thing that throws me off so much is like, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't make videos like these I'm not that type of a channel where like, you know, I don't like those sentimental type videos I always like to keep, you know, putting out funny videos But then, you know, some fuckery happens along the way where I have to like, you know, sit down get sentimental And just, you know, do a big 180 with the fucking content So I don't really know how to like to properly like word this But a couple days ago, I literally, <sighs> fuck, see, I'm so like caught up with everything It's just, I, I, I'm, I'm still in shock Because if this were to actually happen, I'd be fucking crushed Basically I thought I was gonna lose my YouTube channel. I found out a couple days ago my YouTube channel password was changed And I haven't changed my fucking password since I made the channel. So I started to panic I was like what the fuck who who's in my shit like who's in my fucking account? So like a day goes by, you know I'm just not really thinking anything much of it around like day two and three I was like, all right, this is kind of weird Like I haven't been on my like YouTube account in like a minute. I haven't checked like my analytics I haven't I haven't even like watched videos like that like on that account. So I was just kind of tight I was like using my other account to watch videos so around like day five or day six now today's day five I, I start to tweak out i'm like yo what the fuck i can't get into my youtube channel i can't like even get into my google account don't tell me my fucking youtube channel is about to get hacked because that shit's about to fucking throw me left the whole week has just been crazy and then you're just gonna add on top of that like I, now i can't fucking make youtube videos like this is my only outlet for fucking like stress like what what's good <laughs> And on top of that, I'm coming down with a fucking cold. I never get fucking sick. Like, I, I don't get sick at all. It's just like my immune system is different. So around today, I was like, bro, I'm not fucking rocking. Like, if I lose this YouTube channel, then I, I'm just going to give up. Like, fuck making videos. Fuck everything. You know what? I have a job. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Like, fuck. I mean, I'm barely making bread off YouTube. Basically, like, a whole bunch of negative thoughts and shit. But, you know, knowing me, I, when some shit goes left, I don't like to rock. You know, I like to persevere and say, fuck you or fuck that so i start you know fucking around with google i start resetting everything resetting my passwords resetting like a whole bunch of bullfuck shit and you know luckily i was able to actually get my fucking channel back you know this isn't like the whole point of the video like if y'all been keeping up with me for a while y'all know i've been like this isn't like my first youtube channel technically this is like my second youtube channel because my main youtube channel was like bricks ago i was making videos on there when i was like 12 to 13 years old and now i'm almost 21 and uh long story short that channel got deleted and you know the ptsd started kicking in it's like bro if this shit's like really gone i have no fucking outlet to make videos it goes way deeper than that like the reason i love making videos so much is because it's just so like it's therapeutic for me in some some way i've been doing this since i was like like seven years old like I, i've been making videos my whole life and it's just something that i've always enjoyed recording videos editing videos you know producing videos just just anything that involves filmmaking i i fucking love it. not too long ago i made a short film called the art of filmmaking that right there that short film right there like really shows like how much i love this shit like if it wasn't for content creating dude i'd be a fucking mess like i would be on some fuckery and i really thought about it i was like damn bro like if this shit is like done for then what else am I gonna do? I'm not gonna make like Instagram skits or fucking, you know, gaming videos. Like, this is like the type of content that I like to put out. And it's just like the thought of not having that was making me fucking crazy. Cause yo, I've, I've been doing this, like I said, for way too long. And I've just kind of got. I've kind of just got used to like the the pattern and shit, like always having that outlet. See, the thing about making videos, it's not like a, like a human, like, you know, it would always be there. Like you can always rely on it. This is how I look at it. Like, it's not like I'm gonna wake up one day and you know, like my cameras like chooses not to record. Yeah, like I could, you know, it might fuck up. I might have to go get it fixed. But at the end of the day, like it'll always be there. And plus I have like multiple cameras, so like, I always have that option to like, you know, record the things that I want. And that's literally what was fucking me up like all day today. It was literally bothering me at work for eight straight fucking hours. Making videos is just my stick. Like if it wasn't for the internet, I feel like I'd be a fucking lunatic. I mean, I'm already like a lunatic in general, but it's just like, it's, it's really therapeutic. And I just like, I just need that. And I'm glad like this is an actual thing. This shit has saved my life so many times and it's most likely gonna fucking save my life in the next couple of weeks. Cause like, I'm not trying to get into it, but you know, last couple of weeks have been fucking stressful. Like who would have thought working 48 fucking hours is like, like a lot. It takes a toll on your mental. It fucking
fucking just it's, it's some fuckery duckery bullshit but at the end of the day you know money is money like you gotta get your bread up one way or the other <laughs> Oh my god, my poor mom probably thinks I'm hotboxing my room. But yeah, bro, I just like kind of thought about it. I was just like, you know what, you, you don't really appreciate something until it's like really gone. And just, you know, reflecting on everything, like I've had this channel for like three years and I just wasn't ready to accept the fact that there was a possibility. <laughs> This is bullshit. But yeah, like I was saying, like, I just wasn't ready to accept the fact that, you know, this YouTube channel could have been, like, wraps, you know? I don't know, just too many memories, and it's just too much time and effort. Just thinking about it all going down the drain, it's like, bro, that would have been a fucking waste. Like, the memories, hours spent on editing, you got all the times that I fucking begged the boys just to do some dumb shit. All those times we went cliff jumping in the rain, cliff jumping in general, doing donuts in the middle of the street. I was just not ready for that fate on some, like, Game of Thrones shit. Like, I was just not. If there's gonna be like someone or something that like means a lot to me and that I would probably fucking go crazy over It's it's this channel, bro. I've built this shit from the ground up. I just don't want to stop doing what I'm doing I've been making videos for too long and This is just like the shit that I love to do, bro. It makes me happy. That's my fucking dream, bro Like this is the shit that I live off of or the shit that I live for doing reckless shit and just saying fuck it When I do make videos like these I always tend to feel the need to like delete them, but nah, I'm probably gonna have to I'm yeah, I'm probably gonna like most likely keep this up just to remind myself everything could just go down in shambles It's crazy how fucking like how long I'm dragging this on for this is a fucking channel, but this is my channel and I just ne I never take I never come on here and just you know speak my mind and it, today was just one of those days where I was like like it's kind of like I got like a reality check, you know, I love to shit talk in my videos Especially when something doesn't go my way, but yo like the Google robots or the Google like, you know When you have to like reset passwords. I don't know what that shit's called Google assistance. I don't know Fucking thank you cuz I was just nah. I just didn't want to I, I can't I could I can't lose this channel, bro like this too many too many things on here if you're one of the real bro chachos i just wanted to say you know i fuck with you heavily thank you for supporting me throughout the years and you know i, I do this for you like y'all are my inspiration and I, I just love entertaining and just you know trying to be an influencer that's really fucking cringy i like how i say i want to be an influencer but i turn around and get shit faced with my friends like yeah yeah since this whole thing is kind of like died down i can just you know fucking breathe for a minute collect myself and just you know reevaluate my fucking ratio i got a vlog going up soon we're gonna get active for sure yeah i, I don't know I, I don't know i just i had to come on here and just Tell y'all what's up, so. All right, bros, catch you on the flip. Peace the fuck. Yeah, that's the outro now? Yeah. Put down, baby, Glocky on a presidential like Obama. So, one dollar down the drain, Paul. Make it two dollars. Make it two dollars, Paul. Let's see, let's see. Big scam, dude. Hey, finesse you a second time, Paul. I don't think you should go for a third, Paul. Should he go for a third, Paul? Third time's I, a try. I think he should go for a third, Paul. Third time's the try. <laughs> It was only two dollars, Paul. Well, at least it's not five, Paul. No way they scammed you. No oh, five dollars per play. Yeah. Bust down, Rolly Avalanche. Yeah, my old bitch average. This is my first time rapping it. You know, uh, this goes out to a little special someone. You know, this light is uh, got me feeling different. <laughs> You know, uh, there's just something about, like, red lights always catch my attention. I just wanted to say, uh, you know, I'll find a way to articulate. <laughs>